This next film is about why UNICEF will always, literally, go the extra mile for children. This is Mohammed and Marie's story. My name is Marie Bangua. Our old 20 years, one meets me, man, one is Mohammed. I am Marie. What is your Oh, Kandia. Me and my man who been get love. He love me a lover. I never marry her. Kuto go yo hoy. I say I want for la born boy piki. Marie got her wish when she gave birth to a baby boy called Ibrahim, and this little family began their life together. But one day, Marie sensed something was wrong. The that one body. One body one. Now I say, hmm, this, that one body, name, name, kill this. The family live in a very remote village, a long way from any health facilities. Because of that, Ibrahim hadn't yet had his routine childhood vaccinations. With Ibrahim's condition deteriorating rapidly, they began the long journey to the hospital. That the breed, you know, been the breed final. Ibrahim had suspected pneumonia, a condition that can be prevented through vaccination. Later that night, Ibrahim passed away. He was just four months old. I feel pain, and that pain they take they do to me. Thousands of families simply can't get to health centers to get their children vaccinated. So UNICEF came up with a solution. And that's where Memzu comes in. I have vaccinated over 3,000 children. I take vaccine to the parents because they live far away. So many children dying because of not being vaccinated. UNICEF and their partners do whatever it takes to deliver vaccines to almost a billion children every year, wherever they are, to make sure they're protected against conditions like polio, measles and pneumonia. Some of these children are getting their first ever life-saving vaccines. One of them is a little girl called Posse and her parents couldn't be prouder. <laughs> one child losing their life is one too many. Mohammed and Marie will never forget their little boy, but you can help UNICEF try and stop this happening again. <laughs> 